What's going on guys, ZTA Prime back here again. It's been a little while since I created any videos on the NVIDIA Jetson Nano, and I definitely want to get back into it because NVIDIA has recently updated the OS image for this board. So I do have a couple videos coming up to show you what you can do with this board and how it performs. But first up, I wanted to get a couple accessories, mainly cases for these boards here. Now, if you're not familiar with the Jetson Nano, this is an awesome little single board slash development board powered by the Tegra X1 with four gigs of RAM. It's a very powerful little system and it comes in at $99. But ever since it was released, I haven't really looked into any cases for this thing, but I was recently sent two cases from a company called KKSB. Now I have made a video in the past with this company using their cases for the XU4. And now I think it's time to take a look at the cases for the Jetson Nano. So they offer two variants. They have a shorter version, which is the first one we're going to get into, and then the taller version. The shorter version I have here comes in at around 22 to 23 US dollars. It's actually really nice. It's fully constructed of metal, comes with all the screws you need to mount the Nano inside of the case itself, and all the ports on the board are accessible. Now, a lot of people working with the Jetson Nano will want to access the GPIO pins, and with this case here, you can't exactly access them from the top itself, but you can use a ribbon cable and come right out of the bottom. On the back here, we have the SD card slot, power in, display port, HDMI, USB, Ethernet, and micro USB. So all the outward facing IO is accessible when this is inside of the case, and it's just a nice little sleek design. Assembly is really easy. All you need is a small Phillips head screwdriver, comes with all the screws and some rubber feet for the bottom. The Jetson Nano lines up with all the ports. You're just gonna kind of place the board in here and then put our four screws in. If you wanna use the rubber feet, you can peel the backs off and attach them to the bottom of the case. So now that I have the board secured inside of the case, it's time to put on the top cover. Kind of snaps right on and you can just snug it down with the four included screws. And that's pretty much it for the shorter case. We can reach the micro SD card from the rear. We have access to all the external IO and I think it looks great. While we don't exactly have room for a fan on the interior of the case, you could mount one on the very top here. We still have access to the screw holes on the heatsink itself. So if you don't mind having an external fan, this case will work out just fine. But they also offer the taller version of the case, and this comes with some extra accessories. The price on this one is anywhere from 35 to 45 US dollars, depending on what kind of accessories you want included with it. And I did opt for the more expensive version because they do throw in a Noctua fan, and I'll show that off in just a second. But first up, the case itself. Again, we have an all metal constructed case. Easy access to all the external I.O., power in, HDMI display port, USB, Ethernet, and micro USB. There's actually a couple reasons I like this case over the smaller version. It does come with a reset and power button. We can mount it right inside of the case itself. Plus, we have enough room in here to add a fan for the heatsink on the Jetson Nano. And I'll be using this Noctua 40 by 40 by 20 millimeter high fan. You can also opt in for the 10 millimeter version, but I kind of wanted a thick fan on here so we could pull as much air in as possible. Another thing that's included with the taller version is this side mounted camera mount. Now it doesn't come with the camera. I've already installed mine inside of here, but you can use a Raspberry Pi camera. It'll mount right on the side of the case itself. Really cool for development and AI learning. And I plan on getting into this a little more in some future videos. Assembly on this one is a bit more complicated because we have that reset and power buttons, but don't worry. KKSB does have full instructions on their website. It shows you exactly which pins to plug this into. I'm not really going to get into it in this video because looking at the instructions on their website is much easier than watching a video. But basically, I'm just going to mount my power and reset button. You can put this in either spot you'd like to. These are also LED, so you'll need separate power from the GPIO pins on the Nano itself. Just like the first case, we're just going to drop the Nano right in here, put our four screws in, then I'll need to plug everything up, and I'll also mount the fan. Now on the Jetson Nano, there are four screw holes on top of the heatsink itself. This fan will line right up with it and you can mount it right there. And once everything's said and done, it's going to look something like this. I kind of wish they would have shortened these cables up a little bit, but some zip ties will help you out in this situation. All that's left to do is put the top cover on and I'm also going to mount that camera right on the side of this unit. Overall, I really love the look and the build quality of these cases here. And you do have access to all the external I.O. on the taller version as well. Plus, when everything's powered up, we have those LED buttons, and I think they look really nice on this pure black case. Either way you go, you can't go wrong with these cases, whether you like the shorter one or the taller one. I prefer the taller one, but I do love the form factor of the short version. 
Ever since I got my Jets and Nano, it's just kind of been sitting out on the desk. Now, inside of the Nano's box, you do get a little piece of cardboard that you can fold out and set the Nano on top of, but I never really utilized that. I'm glad I got protection on this thing now. It looks good, and in my opinion, this tall one is very functional with that camera mount. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you're interested in picking up one of these cases for your Jets and Nano, I will leave links in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And definitely stay tuned to the channel because I got a lot of videos coming up on the Nano very soon. But like always, thanks for watching.